Amid frantic rescues and mounting loss, this morning Buffalo still not out of the woods. Western New York could see even more snow by tonight after more than four feet brought Buffalo to a frigid halt. Nothing can compare to this storm. The Tisdale family says they almost didn't survive after their car got stuck in the whiteout. Thankfully, firefighters came to the rescue. They saved our lives. So many people didn't make it out of their cars. So many people didn't make it out of their homes. The severe winter weather blamed for nearly 60 deaths nationwide. One of the state's hardest hit, New York. President Biden declaring a state of emergency after officials reported more than two dozen weather-related deaths. It is uh, painful uh, to find members of your community that are deceased who were trying to walk out during storm conditions, got disoriented and passed away out in the street. Navigating streets turned to parking lots. Authorities also facing reported looting. I don't know how these people can even live with themselves, how they can look at themselves in the mirror. They are the lowest of, of the low. This is first responders continue to help Buffalo residents with New York State police troopers assisting road clearing crews, checking for stranded motorists and assisting in search and rescue efforts. It's up in flames now. While firefighters struggled to control a multiple home fire in the deep snow yesterday. And the Buffalo airport will remain closed until Wednesday morning as the area braces for a touch of more snow today. That viral Christmas party with stranded South Korean tourists giving Yosef Choi and his wife a honeymoon he'll never forget. I got a new family member in Buffalo too, so you know, I can't describe in word, you know, um, it's like, you know, I, I met angels. Such an incredible, inspiring story, a sign of hope in what has been a very tough time here in Buffalo. We do have some cars out on the roadways right now, guys, but for the city of Buffalo, there is still a travel ban in place this morning. We are looking at some warmer temperatures, even if just slightly in the days ahead. So hopefully that will bring some relief as well. Peter, those piles of snow next to you, hard to imagine. All that came over the course of the last week. Jesse Kirsch, thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.